Let me tell you a quick story from when I was a kid. We used to have this big car show in Stockholm. It was my favorite event of all events. It was more fun than the theme parks and anything you can think of to do in Stockholm, but it only occurred every four years. Jules, bring it over here. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm at the dog park right now and she's throwing a lot, I'm throwing frisbees. So it only happened every four years. And I didn't really care a lot about the, the, the cars that were there. What I went straight for was the designers booth so they have a they had this awesome setup of designers just sketching random cars from different universities and companies so Volvo had some designers sketching their Saab they still existed uh, back then I had some uh, designers sketching there and that was about 10 or 12 years old or something like that and I was just mesmerized by their sketches and just wanted to uh, wanted to know how to get there. I mean, these guys were legends to me. They were seriously legends. Sorry about the background noise. There's some, some leaf blowing going on. Just gonna throw this frisbee. So these guys were definitely legends for, to me. And I could not wait to figure out how they did all that. How they managed to sketch something so cool so quickly. And I wanted to get to that point as fast as possible. But if I were to go back and talk to myself and kind of answer all my questions that I had back then. Like, how do I get there? What do I need to do? Uh, how long will it take me? I would just say that focus on doing something every single day that will get you closer to whatever you're, you're, you're working on. And that's what I did. I just started sketching daily, every single day since I was about 10 or 11 years old. I've basically been, been sketching cars. And that's kind of what I want to teach you with this with specifically this uh, videos like this is to uh, kind of speed up that process and give you a few uh, shortcuts. Look at Jules over there, she's waiting for me to throw the frisbee. Just do a few things every day, at least one sketch a day to get you to where you want to be and realize that it will take time. You can't speed this up. It will take years to get to where you want to be, but if you do things continuously every single day, you will get there. 20 years later, which is today, I feel pretty confident sketching cars. Uh, and that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you a technique using just two lines to kind of sketch any car you want to sketch. It can be an SUV, a two-door, or a sedan. I'm gonna show you this technique and hopefully it will help you and hopefully we'll get, we'll get you uh, to understand the basics of sketching cars. It's really not that complicated when you have the basics done. So that's what we're gonna do right now and I hope you enjoy this video. Now before we get into the sketching part, just make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. That way you get notified when new videos are uploaded every single week. All right, let's get started. What we're gonna be using today is just a marker paper and the thing with this specific sheet that I'm sketching on right now, it's kind of at the bottom of the sketchbook as you can see. So the lines were kind of uh, bumpy. I could feel the bump of the last cardboard page on this, so it didn't feel that comfortable to sketch on. But anyway, we're gonna start with sketching a two-door coupe at the top and then a sedan in the middle. And at the bottom, we're gonna do an SUV. So the thing here, these are the two lines that I start with when I sketch a side view. This is how you can do it. It's not a uh, blueprint to sketching side views, but uh, it's very easy to do this if you're just starting out. Uh, and the thing here is that the distance between these two lines, the baseline and the shoulder line of the vehicle you're sketching, is going to determine what kind of car you're sketching. Because if it's narrow, if the distance between the two lines is narrow, you're going to have a lower car, because that means that the shoulder line is just gonna be above the wheels. And that would be suitable for uh, in this example, a two-door coupe or any type of sports car, whether it's mid-engine or front-engine or electric or whatever you want. But the, the narrower the lines, the uh, sportier or lower the car, I would say. And then the middle part of this is going to be somewhere in between the SUV and the uh, two-door sport, uh, sports car is you just raise raise both of these lines you, raise, you pretty much keep the baseline the same because a sedan is still low to the ground. So you want to keep that low. And then you raise the shoulder line a little bit just to keep it higher and make it more spacious because you're going to have four to five people in this car. So that means that the headroom in the back is going to have to be higher than if you had a two-door. It's a pretty common sense 
but uh, raise the top shoulder line and then you start building your blocks as I do here. If you're uncertain of the volumes of the car, I'm gonna do this right here with the SUV. Uh, just start to build the blocks out so we have the volumes uh, done. The final part here with the SUV is to raise both lines. So you wanna raise the baseline and SUV is usually higher off the ground than a regular car or a sedan or a sports car or something like that. So both of these lines now has to be raised and also, also the, the, the distance between those lines has to be uh, extended because an SUV is obviously higher or taller than a uh, sedan or a sports car. And what you wanna do now is just put up the volumes and try to figure out, you can use reference pictures to get this right if you don't, if you feel uncertain about some certain things such as the A pillars, B and C pillars where they go and also the doors, you can put those out. But from here, it's basically just have fun with it. Once you have the volumes down, you can start to design the car, add some graphics, add some lights and intakes and stuff like that. And I'm using just the big pen here, but I'm gonna go into some really light marker shading soon, just to add some more volume and depth to it. And the marker I'm gonna be using is a, uh, I think I use a cool gray three, pretty sure this is a cool gray 3 because my cool gray 2 uh, of these markers are, is actually already dry so if you're buying these artist loft markers they can go dry very quickly as uh, my number two did I've used it probably like five or six times and then it went dry anyway keep the light source consistent figure out where your light source is and right here I'm just adding the basic reflections into the body of the cars to, uh, to give it some more depth and some volume. I also like to sketch the interior. So you see through the glass of the side right here, that's what I'm doing right now, is sketching the interior so you can see it through the glass. Stuff like that, when you're sketching side views, is just gonna add some more 3D to it and not make it look like an isometric sketch, which I personally hate. When I see a car in isometric view, it just looks super weird, especially if you have it in like a three quarter front view in isometric, it looks like it's just, I don't know, everything looks off. So I always wanna keep some sort of 3D or perspective, even if I sketch in side view. Other ways you can do that is by adding the uh, far side wheels underneath the car. So you have, you see those uh, right next to the, the, uh, the wheels that are on this side. You can add some depth by using tricks like that. And as a final touch, we want to add obviously some um, line weight to these sketches. That's another step to add some even more depth if you just have a few tools to work with. The thing is, you don't really need a lot of tools to create some cool sketches. For example, this is just a big pen and a single marker. And this obviously works on uh, print paper. This, it doesn't have to be marker paper. I just want to finish up this sketchbook and get a new one because I'm, I want to do, I want to get a, uh, uh, what's it called, a toned marker paper because it looks so cool when you're sketching, especially white highlights on those. It just pops really well. I used to have one, but I finished it within a month or so. Uh, so that's about it with this video. The key points here is to start with two lines and adjust the lines depending on what type of uh, vehicle you're sketching. And from there, box out your volumes if you're uncertain of the pr proportions of uh, the type of vehicle you're sketching. Add, add some details, add some markers if you want to. You can do this with a big pen. You can do some line shading with a big pen if you don't have a marker or any pen. It doesn't have to be a big. I don't know why I keep saying big pen. I'm just used to it, I guess. Final touch, clean everything up with the pen again. Add some line weight and boom, you are done. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if it did, hit the like button. If it was a bad video, <laughs> hit the dislike button as usual. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Feel free to browse the channel and subscribe. I'm the Sketch Monkey, and I will see you in the next video.